double festival winner, Grand National winner, he's in the history books for sure. Oh, I can't stand still. This just feels totally surreal, doesn't it? Such Absolutely lovely. surreal. I think it's felt a bit like a whirlwind and here we are in the pre-parade ring before the Grand National. It's like we would never have dreamed we would be here. He's, he's got his one chance today and we, we just hope he can do it. But again, as we've all said, he owes us nothing. If he wins, he wins. If he doesn't, then what a journey it's been. It's all right. You nervous? Yes. Yeah, so am I. My brother bought this horse for, well, bought Cork for £14,000 at York sale a few years back. Uh, seven people involved, you know, five from Scotland, I think, one from Australia, uh, one from Ireland. You know, there's young lads involved, you know, the youngest Grand National owner of all time at 21. There's a bell. Right, good luck, good luck. Once in a, it is once in a lifetime. Oh, right. But this is it, so it's the last one in. Hopefully, he's the first one home as well. Crowd think this is a goer. Here we go, here's Simon Holt. For the Randolph Grand National Handicap Chase, the big dog, followed by Wild Marge in the blue and yellow jacket, Korak Rambler towards the outside of those with the white face. Go on, Derek, what a jump, man. Yes, 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 along the railing. Really. Final fence in the Randolph's Grand National. Mr. Coffee is taken by Korak Rambler, and Korak Rambler has taken it up under Derek Force. The one for Arthur combination. They're going to win it again with Korak Rambler. Derek Fox, Will the Blinder, and Cora Rambler. What a horse. Yeah, I'm lost for words. I'm just so delighted that he can run in a race like that, perform like that, and he has now got greatness. And it, it's what he deserves. Your current Rambler in our hearts is just the best horse. It's a bit surreal when you think about it. We bought a horse for 17,000 thinking he'll run around Kelso and Perth, and we're all quite happy with that. Obviously, this is just a dream come true. I'm waiting for somebody to wake me up. People that had never met each other before until they decided that, you know, to buy some shares in a horse and they've won twice at the Cheltenham Festival and now they've won the Grand National and it just, it just doesn't get any better than that for them. It was just extraordinary. There's nothing like horses, is there?